Welcome to Iron Sharpens Iron. Thank you so very much for taking out the time to refresh today's in today's program with us today. We are just so excited about the move of God in this season. You know what I have said, Evangelist Phyllis? You know what I said to the Lord? Whatever that you do in this season, God, don't do it without me. Amen. Don't leave me out. Because if you God. leave me out, God, I don't know what I'm going to do, God. Amen. I don't want to miss what you're doing, God. Yes. I can't miss it, Pastor Ben. Yes. I can't yes. miss it. I can't yes. miss it, Lady yes. Linda. Because yes. if I miss it, I just don't know. I, I don't want to repeat nothing else. Yes. I don't want to repeat God. another cycle. Yes. Yes. I don't want to repeat Lord. anything. I just yes. want to welcome with, with, with today's program with us. Thank iron you, sharpens iron tv ministry yeah. we've had a long day but today's topic of discussion is don't look back Amen. Thank you, Lord. don't look back Amen. this tv ministry we stand on proverbs 27 and 17 iron sharpens iron mm -hmm. so a man sharpened the countenance of his friend or have you sharpened someone today did you take out the time to sharpen a brother or a sister today? Regardless and in spite of how you was feeling. Oh, I'll tell you something. I've been through today. Oh, my nails. Jesus. I've been through. <laughs> Glory to God. I said I was going to have my hands, but I, 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 hey. But did you sharpen someone today? Regardless yeah. of how you were feeling. Regardless of what you was going That's through. Right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Iron sharpens iron. Yeah. So a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Yes. We have dynamic speakers today. We have dynamic testimonies today. So I want you to press your recording button. I want you to go get your friends. I want you to go get your enemies. Glory to God. Bless, you. Bless your enemies. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Yes. My name is Evangelist Anita Brown. I am your host for today's program. Today, we have, again, awesome um, panelists today that's on this program. And, uh, and we have, first of all, Evangelist Phyllis. Johnson, thank you so much. She Amen. fought to get here, but she made it. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We have also Amen. Lady uh, Linda Janice, who flew in this morning from yeah. Columbia, Missouri. I'm so glad to have a show me state up in the house. <laughs> I love North Carolina, but I am from Missouri. <laughs> and this was her first time flying, so I'm just so thankful you pushed through. She made it through. She yes. prayed the whole. And what was so funny, this woman of God had me cracking up at 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Help me, Lord. Help me, Jesus. I fall asleep, y'all pray for me. Glory to God. She had me, had me cracking up because she said, you know what? When I go up in the air, she said she's going to be praying because she's going to get her breakfast because she's a little bit closer to the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise God. And we also have Pastor Monica Bell. Amen. We're so grateful to the Lord. She's Amen. in the studio with us, and we have her mom in the in the audience with us. Amen. And we're just so thankful that you're able to come Amen. and enjoy today's program with us. She has an awesome testimony, so put your seatbelts on. We also have Prophetess Rita Farrington. And we're so glad that she's enjoying today's program with us today. And um, this is her first time on with us. And so we're just grateful to the Lord. And we also have Prophetess Ann Payne, who Amen. we rode until we died. We died, but we're still alive. <laughs> Glory to God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we also have with us Evangelist Gwen Purcell up in the house today. You see this beautiful um, arrangement that she made. And so I'm so thankful to the Lord. She stepped in and helped us out because I can't decorate nothing. And so we also have another show me stayed up in the house. Glory to God. We have in the house Christy Hogan from, from Missouri as well. So I tell you what, I'm just so thankful to the Lord uh, for each of these women. So again, we're to today's topic of discussion is don't look back. I know that you will be blessed by today's um, testimonies, ministry, whatever that the Lord put in these women of God, know that it is the Holy Ghost. So I pray for you right now, the Holy Ghost and fire will come upon you. Holy Ghost and fire yes. will come upon you. Yes. That, that, that you, that it will be said in your mouth. Yes. God, whatever that you do in this yes. season, Lord. don't do it without me, Lord. Yes. I don't want to go in no more circles. Yes. If yes. I look back, yes. it's only for a testimony yes. that the word of God is so true yes. that you overcome by the blood yes. of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. Yes. Let it be a word of your testimony, yes. not a complaint. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Stop killing your own. Mm. Yes, Don't Lord. do it. Yes, Thank Lord. you, Lord. So we just want to go ahead and get started. So I just want to yes. say, Evangelist Gwen Purcell, what has the Lord given to you to bless us? I need a word from the Lord. I'm yanking it out. I need it. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord, everybody. Glory. Praise it's the Lord. good to be here with all these great women of God. Yes. Praise the Lord. Um, I'm here to talk about, um, I'm not looking back. Glory. And, um... God has given me, um, I'm coming out of Matthew 4, 1, and uh, Matthew 4, 1, 
um, is I'm talking about um, get ye behind me. Mm. God has gone before me. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. Praise the Lord. God has gone before me. Lord. I grew up, um, grew, grew up as a child and I had been molested and um, I had been raped as I got older. But you know what? God is still God and God sits on the throne. He, he has covered me. I've been able to come forth like never before and I'm going forth in my ministry. Um, let me read a little bit. Um, Matthew 4, 1, it talks about how Jesus was tempted in the devil, in, in the desert, excuse me. Um, Satan came to tempt Jesus uh, after he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. And um, he, Jesus was in the desert and he came and he told him, he said, if you're the son of God, you know, you know, can you turn this, um, bread, these rocks, these stones into bread, you know? And Jesus told him, get ye behind me. He said, you know what? It is written, man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Amen. Amen. So um, there are some times, some things we're going to go through in life where we're going to be tempted. Even even with my molestation and... um, being raped and stuff as a, a youth mm-hmm. coming up, you know, Satan uses um, certain things to try to tempt us now, you know. Yeah. But, you know, I know, you know, I know how to pull on the word of God oh. and tell the devil to get behind me. You use oh, scripture to pull it down, you know, cast it down. But um, in Matthew, um, also, let me, let me just give you three things about um, temptation, okay? Um, when temptation comes, you, you want to focus on, temptation comes on in three areas. The first thing, it comes um, with your physical needs and desire, okay? Now, you know, you may say, okay, I, I need a man or I need a husband and stuff. You know, when you get to saying that, what's going to happen? The devil's going to send somebody around. Jesus. May not even be your husband. You know what I'm saying? He may be coming saying, okay, this is the, you are my wife, you know, and, and I have been um, in some areas where there were men in the ministry, bishops, pastors, you know, wanted to go out with me, you know, and I went out with them. But you know what? I told them, you know, there was things they were trying to do with that were not of God. These are men of God that were trying to do some things that were not of God. I told him, I say, look, I didn't come on God's side to come and do the things of the world. You know what I'm saying? When I got saved, it, it wasn't to do that. I'm for real. My, my salvation is for real. Okay. Amen. Amen. Okay. So the next thing that it comes, number two, possessions and power, you know, he tax. you know, it's not about what you have. It's not about the house. It's not about the car. You know what I'm saying? It's not about that. It's not, not even about you, but it's about Jesus. Amen. We need to be praying because there's some people out here need to be healed and delivered. My ministry is healing and deliverance. Amen. Amen. God has healed me from some things. He has delivered me from some things. Amen. Amen. And, um, Praise so God. the enemy comes. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. You know. So you know, it's not about that. It's not about um, focusing on what you have. It's about getting somebody delivered. Amen. We're here to win souls. Um, we're here to. Um, you know, you may have somebody that. Um, that's sick in the hospital, you know, you, you need to go and pray, speak a word into their life. You know, I got some things that, you know, I'm working on, you know, in my life, you know, God's working on me. And um, I have a son and he deals with depression and oppression. You know what? But he's going to overcome that depression and oppression because I'm a praying woman of God and I believe in the power of God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory. The third thing that the enemy comes from is pride. Pride. You know what I'm saying? Pride comes before the fall. Amen. Amen. You know, so, um, you know, when somebody says, um, oh, um, you did a great job on your hair. Oh, thank you. You know, and you just, I mean, it's good to encourage somebody, you know, but not get so high almighty, you know, thinking you above the rest, you know. So, um, you know, you just got to come back down and you got the note. Because if you don't come down, God will humble you. Amen. He will humble you himself. And you don't want God to humble you. You know what I'm saying? So we're all sisters and brothers in Christ. We're going to lift one another up and continue to press towards the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Jesus. Woo. Jesus. 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 Woo, look out for that temptation. Look out for possession and power. And look out for pride. Run. Thank the Lord. Woo, Jesus, we just give God the glory. Pastor Monica Bell.
We give God the glory, honor, and praise for you. We thank God for the word of God that God has put in your mouth concerning I am not Lot's wife. And I just thank God, and I just want you to remind us of your ministry and your, where your ministry is located. Please. Praise God. I'm Pastor Monica Bell, and the, the, the title of my ministry is Tapped into Power, Prophetic Ministry. And we are located at 2610 Lincoln Street, Durham, North Carolina. And if you're not doing anything, come out and visit us. Amen. Amen. My, my topic for today is the spirit of Lot's wife. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to read a, a couple of scriptures. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to start out with Luke 9 and 62. But Jesus told him, anyone who puts a hand to the plow and then looks back is not fit for the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You know, this passage of scripture talks about if you're going to do anything for the kingdom of God, you can't look back. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because God has some great things ahead of us. Yeah. You can't look back. It's like you can't have one foot in and one foot out. You can't be lukewarm. You know, hallelujah. You're either going to serve one or hate the other. Yeah. Love one or hate the other. Yeah. Because one thing about God, he wants all of us. All of, all of us, not part time, not half of us. He wants all of us because when Jesus died on the cross, he gave his all. Oh, Hallelujah. Right. He told us to love him with all our hearts, all our soul and all our might. Hallelujah. Because he gave his all. So no time for looking back, trying to go forward. We need to make up our minds. Amen. 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 And so um, in Genesis 19 and 17, it reads. Amen. It reads um, as soon as they had uh, brought them out. One of them said, flee for your lives. Don't look back and don't stop anywhere in the plain. Flee to the mountains or you will be slept, swept away. Didn't say might. It says will. Hallelujah. Don't look back. Hallelujah. The Bible says you will be swept away. If you look back, you will be destroyed. Bottom line, this is what this word is saying. If you look back, you will be destroyed. And so that's why so many people are destroyed because they looking back. Can't go forward. Spirit of offense. Looking back or something that have offended them a long time ago. Hallelujah. And in that offense and looking back, they destroyed themselves. They destroyed their ministry. They destroyed their character. They destroyed their spirit. They destroyed their soul. They destroyed their mind. They destroyed their emotions. Emotions. They, they destroyed their own self for licking back. Yes. My God, hallelujah. And so then if you go to the same Genesis 19, um, verse 26, it says, But Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. Hallelujah. First of all, the spirit of Lot's wife, she had a spirit of disobedience. Hallelujah. You cannot disobey God and think you're going to prosper. Right. Hallelujah. You will die spiritually. And if you keep staying in that disobedience, you will die naturally too. Hallelujah. I mean, God means what he says. The word is right all by itself. You know, the, the, children, the, children, the children Israelites, they could not go into the promised land because they disobeyed God. They look back. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. They wanted to go back into Egypt because things was not going their way. Hallelujah. They wanted to go back to what they was familiar with. Hallelujah. You see, when you go in God and going forward, you don't know what's ahead of you, but you just got to trust him. Amen. Hallelujah. You have to remember where God has brought you from. You have to remember about the miracles he has performed. Yeah. Hallelujah. God performed many miracles right before their eyes, and they forgot all about it. Hallelujah. And wanted to go back. Hallelujah. What's the way you want to go back for? Yeah. Ain't nothing but that but death. death. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. And you know, I want to do a comparison, my God, of the difference of Lot's wife and Ruth. Well. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you see, it was two sisters. <laughs> Hallelujah. That, now, that, 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 that one wanted to go back into their homeland. Hallelujah. And Ruth told Naomi, I'm going with you. Hallelujah. Where you live, I'm going to live. Where you die, I'm going to die. Let nothing separate us but death. Hallelujah. And so the picture of, of Ruth is she decided she went forward. Hallelujah. She didn't never, ever look back. Hallelujah. She went to a land that she didn't know nothing about. 
But when you go God and go go in, when you go forward in God, you don't know everything, hallelujah. But I bet you and I promise you, hallelujah, God got a great and exceedingly blessing for you. Hallelujah. Because he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that you can ask or think. It's according to the power that works within you. I say it's according to the power that works within you. Hallelujah. So that means you depend on the power that works within you. When you go forth, you depend on the power that works within you. What power is that? I tell you. And I'm glad you asked me. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Yeah. So that you, you depend on the word that's within you. Hallelujah. And so um, um, so Ruth, she went forward. Hallelujah. She gained so much. She was a woman of loyalty. Hallelujah. She mind her business. She gleaned. And she gained favor. Did she gain favor? Hallelujah. The people from before watched this foreign lady. You know. And so the man watched her too. The man and you know the wealthy one, the man, Hallelujah. The one, the man who owned everything, yeah. Hallelujah. And he watched her how she came from a foreign land mm-hmm. and began to work in this land. Well. Didn't know nobody. Mind her being her yeah. sole purpose was to take care of her and her mother-in-law. Let me ask you something. Who who, who do you help? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. What would you put down? Hallelujah. Yeah. Would you put yourself on the back burner for somebody else? Mm. Will you push somebody else? Will you help push somebody else to go forward? Jesus. Hallelujah. Or are, are you going to be in the way and cause them to go backwards? Jesus. Mm. Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So if you if you are uh, uh, um, um, trying to hinder somebody and they go backwards, hallelujah, the Bible yeah. said it is better for you for a, a, a rope to be tied around your neck and thrown into the sea than to fend the least one of my Right. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So the benefits are going forward. Look at Ruth. Hallelujah. And if you want to see destruction, look at Lot's wife too. Don't go back, but go forward. Amen. 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 Glory to God. We just give God the glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Destruction comes up on you if you look back. But the benefit, if you just keep going, look at Ruth. That's powerful. I knew she was going there. I just knew it. I just knew it. But because she did, uh, you did a ministry that one day when you you ministered and you ministered on Ruth. And I I saw it. I said, I'm going to see if she's going to do it. She did it. But we just give God the glory because she understands the blessings that followed Ruth and she was blessed abundantly yes. with the number one man yes. Boaz. Boaz. His name is always talked about. <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> Glory to God. Father we just thank you Lord God and, and we just thank God for the show me state again up in the house. Christy Hoagland. So uh, my beloved sister Christy Hoagland we thank God for the word of God that you have to bless us with today on Don't Look Back. Thank you Lord. Um, well I want to talk about being still. Um, uh, just as Jesus calmed the storm and uh, said, peace, be still. And he says, where's your faith? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, we serve this great God and sometimes we act like he's not even around. Or we try to take so much control of our own lives mm-hmm. that we forget we've served this risen Savior. Amen that um, will take care of all our needs. Ooh, yes. We just need to depend on him. Yes. Um, he's in control. Amen. And if we would just let go and, and uh, this being still yes. is so important for us to yes. really know what God has for us. Yes. We, we toil and we strive to do all the things in this world mm-hmm. and uh, working and then I, my fear would be to look back and say, look at all the time I wasted not serving him. Amen. And so it's important for us to just get still before him, to let him pour into our spirits so we know how to serve him, to do exactly what he wants us to instead of using our own power. And um, 2 Corinthians, he says, um, my grace is sufficient. My power is made perfect in weakness. We don't need to depend on ourselves because he is the one that will give us the strength. Thank you. Christy Hoagland, again, she flew in this morning with our beloved sister Linda. We have another show me set up in the house from Missouri. And I'm just so, so very thankful. And what is the name of your ministry? Sing for the King Ministries. Sing for the King. And it's it's just so awesome. That that is her website as well. Mm -hmm. And she writes her own music. And it's just so, so beautiful. Um, Actually, um, sister Linda um, um, has a ministry called... High heels on the move, and you can look her up on Facebook. Amen. And um, so she's ministering throughout. 
Say it again. Website is coming soon. Website is coming Amen. soon. Amen. And so they're here blessing us. And so we thank you so very much. Glad Amen. to be here. And so we thank God that she does prison ministry. And I actually, yes. I do have to share this, that um, I met Christy when my brother was in prison. And, you know, I, I often talk about my brother, um, L. Brown. He's out now. And he recommended this woman of God. And he doesn't recommend Amen. people highly because he, he's one of those that judge. If you don't dot your T, he's... She preached this, but she didn't say to there. And so um, it's an honor that he, Amen. <laughs> that, Praise the Lord. Because uh, he knows the word of God. I mean, he knows mm. it. He knows Amen. it better than I do. Mm. I mean, I, I may have more, the fire. <laughs> <laughs> but he knows it. You see, he knows. I mean, mm. take what it goes. I'm thinking like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> but um, so I just give God the glory for you coming. Amen. So do I. We Praise the Lord. We thank God for, um, you know, just being still. That is mm. powerful. Yes. You know, looking Lord. back, you know, all the times the things that we didn't do for the Lord. Oh, Amen. Yes. Got a lot of catching up with it. Amen. Amen. But I thank you so very much. And so. We just give God the glory um, for the word of God that she has just shared. And so um, evangelist um, Phyllis Johnson, she fought to get here. Ooh, I want to hear what God has put up in this belly. Amen. Bless the Lord with us for this great woman of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I thank the Lord for being here. I thank God for what he has done for me in 2007. What come in my spirit? destiny my destiny 2007 i lost everything i became homeless i was doing the women conferences i do women conferences from illinois southern illinois and i lost everything to keep my grandchildren out of the system and i began to ask the lord why am i losing everything and i'm doing your will but to get to your destiny, you got to lose. You got to lose some things. You got to. You got to let go some things. And I didn't know that was holding me down in bondage. So as I began to lose everything, God began to push me into my destiny. I still don't understand all of it, but I'm walking by faith. For the Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. I lost everything. I want to tell the the women that's been homeless that you can make it because God is with you. I want to know that God is a good God, and He's a God that keeps His word. Sometimes we don't keep our word. And so I was in Southern Illinois, and I began to say, Lord, I'm going to let Doris Destiny go. Mm. I said, because I'm losing everything. I don't have anything. I mean, I ain't have anything. And a woman of God came to me and said, you all the way down. You can't do nothing but go up. Jesus. And I saw it, my losing everything caused me to come to North Carolina. So God has moved me into my destiny. <laughs> so God told me he's putting my spirit go forth and daughters of destiny if you had to start with two or three women go forth mm -hmm. so i want to say to the women mm -hmm. you're not by yourself yes. god is we have women all over yes. and you know sometimes we say daughters of destiny pushing women to destiny women that don't even people don't even know wow. they, they're afraid mm -hmm. to get up that's what the enemy tried to put on me mm -hmm. right. fear yes. fear is not of god's that's people right. 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 so hallelujah Thank and you. so god began to just bless me I said, Lord, why am I in North Carolina? Mm -hmm. Lost my mother. She was a pastor 2005. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she said, you're going to do women conferences. Mm -hmm. You're going to push women to your destiny mm -hmm. and their destiny. And when I begin to do that, I start losing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to lose and people will start thinking that you are, you did something wrong. Come on, come on. But God just getting your attention. Come on. He want to take out, burn out everything that's around you, in you, that's not of him. Yes. And he want people to see you come back up. Yes. He wants people to, he wants people to, he wants you to, you know, testify. Don't be ashamed. Yes, I was homeless. Yes. I had to stay with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Never have to do that. Been evicted. Mm -hmm. Didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, God, why? Why am I evicted? Why, I'm doing everything to keep my kids out the system. Uh -huh. But God said, but God. But God. Amen. but God. So he pushed me into my destiny. I end up in North Carolina. And I'm going forward with my first conference next year. So pray for me. I want to do it in April. April? Yes, okay. April. Okay. So we just thank the Lord. Amen. I just want to let um, the audience know she, she we bumped her. I was praying for you. Amen. And um, and I'm trusting. I was praying for everybody, but the Lord showed me Him really fighting you. Yes, thank and you, Jesus. Me, and it was after He was fighting you. Yes. Fighting. So it's right. It's right. 
she walked up in that devil. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Praise God. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Each one of these women have a ministry. And so we, Amen. You know, it's about supporting each other. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's about supporting Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, that's right. Yes. That's, yes. Right. that's what we got to do. So that's we right. thank God for Daughters of Destiny. We thank God because if you hadn't lost everything, we wouldn't have never met you. So, yep. Father, we thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you so very much for pushing yes. to get here. Amen. And so we thank God for just, just keep us posted. You know, whenever you do have your date, Amen. we'll do whatever we can to come to help you. To help Amen. You. Amen. Can I say this? Yes, ma'am. Me coming here today, you pushed me into my destiny. Because I've been sitting six years here. Six years. People have been sitting on me. Thank you, Jesus. And I knew it was a connection. The things you said and, and, bad, and you put and poured it in my spirit. Pastor Monica, the same thing. God put this together. Amen. Sister Evangelist Gwen, always throwing a nugget to me. But this right here pushed me in my destiny. Amen. So I praise God for Welcome it. Amen. 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 I know that that word encouraged some man, some woman today. If you were going through, don't give up. Because God at times will allow things to happen. He set a table before your enemies and he'll allow them to see you eat. Yes. The blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrows with them. Yes. It depends on how you handle it. Amen. And so we just give God the glory. So we thank God for Prophet as read us. We know it's just stirring up and it's on fire in this woman of God. Hallelujah. What has God shared with you to bless us today concerning don't look back? Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. I thank you, Lord. Thank you. thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your word. I thank the Lord for being covered by the blood of Jesus. I thank you that he's been giving me more revelation about being covered by his blood. I took a place, um, I moved out of an apartment with